Hey everybody, this is uh, Dan again with Dust Off Ranch. Um, it's the second part of the video that we, we promised. Um, ways that, uh, uh, three ways or that I uh, try to um, battle, work, um, overcome the kind of the things that I, uh, that I have to uh, overcome. And, um, you know, some of it's depression, anger, and uh, we talked before in the last video, um, just feeling alone, stuff like that. Um, one thing that's very important to me, it's become more important to me as I've gotten older, is um, my relationship with Christ. Um, that's one of the three pillars of the whole reason for Dust Off Ranch, is a spiritual, mental, and physical. Um, you gotta have health and all three of those and for me um it has now started off with and it's something i never used to do um until about a year two years ago um, but i try to every day um read the bible read other um inspirational books um, that i can to kind of you know help me throughout my day you know I like to bring up King David, uh, who was a warrior in the Bible. And I, I told somebody it was in Kings, but actually it's in Samuels, first and second Samuels talks about David. Um, I think about battle that they had to fight back then, how much more of it was close combat than compared to nowadays, which you know, I'm sure there's some of that nowadays, but um, back then, and um, King David had a lot of faults. Um, you know, he killed a man to be with another man's wife that he ended up marrying. And um, I don't think anybody talks about how he probably was suffering from a lot of different things, being a warrior and then becoming a king. Um, but the thing about David is he had a repentant heart. Um, when his sins were brought to him or he acknowledged them, and he would always go to Christ and repent. And um, I know sometimes we think for the things we've done, we can never be forgiven. We can never um, look past it. Well, that's, I, you know, and, I, and I, try, I struggle with some of that stuff too. But I look at King David and what God forgave him. And he, and, and Christ said, he's a man after my own heart. So, how am I lesser than that? I mean, you know, I know I probably never did nearly as much as what King David did, as, but Christ looked at him and said he was a man of his own heart. So um, if Christ could help him, I know he can help me. It might not be overnight. And like I said, you know, it might take a while, but to be honest, it takes complete surrender. Um, and trust me, uh, it's not easy because some, some of these memories you want to hang on to i don't know they're you know i find myself sometimes listening to music that makes me angry or listening to things that make me angry and and when i'm done like i don't know why i just listened to that but you have to um you have to fight that and by fighting it this is the craziest thing to say but by fighting it you have to let go and surrender and um just let christ you know, working you slowly. Um, it's a relationship, and so you have to learn to trust him. But if he could help a man like King David, then I'm sure he could um, help me or help you. And that's one of the one of the major pillars that I, you know, that we started, you know, for Dust Off Ranch. The second is mental health. Um, something that. Uh, you know, it's probably not easy to say. Um, I've gone to counseling, in counseling. You need to be able to talk about things. Um, that's one thing we want to offer here. So one thing the VA has done for me um, is offer me counseling. And so I have to do counseling and it's been helping to talk about things. So I, you know, and also, you know, I think part of mental health is talking to your other 
friends, brothers, sisters from service and careers, um, staying in touch, you know, as we stated before, it's a community. So being able to talk to others and maintain and kind of have, you know, um, someone to pick you up when you're down, other friends who can relate. Um, the second, or the, sorry, the third is fitness. You got to have mental fitness. I think that also teaches you how to over, overcome some of your weaknesses. Um, and, you know, it, this is uh, not an endorsement, but a recommendation, I guess. I don't even know how to say it, but I, what, what has helped me um, a lot is um, I, I enjoy CrossFit. Um, I don't do a lot of it now. I'm kind of switching over back to, uh, to weightlifting, um, but um, it's a community. Um, you're sharing suffering, shared suffering with other people during a workout. Um, and uh, I think that's huge. If you can get into a community like that, um, it doesn't have to be CrossFit. You know, it could just be you have a, a gym partner you work out with. And uh, I recommend that work out with somebody and it kind of helps with your physical health with also helps with your mental health. Um, I think that can be huge for you. And these are things that you can try. I mean, it's slowly starting to work for me. Um, another thing for mental and physical is get outdoors. That's one thing I love about this area. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Um, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm anxious to finally get out here and move out here and, and then starting things up for other people, which, you know, where people can come and enjoy the same thing that we're enjoying out here. Um, just to get away, I mean, it's just a couple days, just to kind of hang out and kind of just get some peace. Um, and we can work on, you know, uh, all three of the pillars, you know, nothing will be forced on them when they come here. It's just, you know, it's voluntarily. Um, we want to offer maybe uh, some outdoor activities to kind of help with your mental health, um, some groups that we can get together and talk um, some fitness to kind of help along the way and well but most importantly we're gonna offer some spiritual help but that's what you need um, we want to get involved and help people see um, what can help and maybe it's a good fit for you if you just want to come out here and just enjoy the peace and quiet that's good too um, that's what it's here for um, so those are the things that I use that I have been working on and so um, I want to offer it to others so I'm hoping we can get this started soon and it's gonna be a long road um, to get it started uh, but I believe it's, it's gonna happen and uh, I don't give up on this because it's it's worthwhile it's I believe in it and I know it's gonna help so I think it will help others too so I look forward to being able to share more experiences with uh, others you know we'll do it in videos too and once we get things started everything that we're going to do we're going to try to show everybody else what we're doing so it can build up interest and others will know um, our goal is to be able to let uh, veterans insert uh, and uh, first responders to come out here at no cost to them once we can get started and once we have things just to take a break because i know um been a military 34 years first responder also since 93 oh that's old so um i understand it uh it takes a toll sometimes you just need a break so with that being said um thank you again for being here um, reach out to us if you need any help i will help you with the resources that i have which are they're limited but i'll do what i can and um you know, and if you want, we can elaborate more on some of the things that I do out of those three. So with that being said, thank you again for being here and listening to this whole thing. And hope you all have a great day.